Hey guys, it's me, Saren, back with another video. So this is actually going to be a follow-up to yesterday's video um, where I talked a little bit about this Cardi situation. As always, this is a video that I wanted to make for a while, for a few months, and this situation kind of just made like the perfect sort of like template to like segue into this video. In yesterday's video, um, which of course will be linked in the description box, I talked a bit about how people feel like being like grimy or like being from the streets like means a certain thing and it means you have to behave in a certain type of way people think that uh to be real or to be from the streets or whatever you know means like being grimy and being like gully being like a horrible ass fucking person well and being gully doesn't mean being a horrible person being real doesn't mean being a horrible person but people just like have all these ideas about like what does it mean to be real and it's like it can mean that like it can mean being grimy it can mean being gully it can but like it doesn't have to and it's funny because I was actually like two months ago, three months ago, I was talking about this with Tim. Shout out to Tim, um, who was on the last episode of The Black Americans. I'll have a link to that in the description box as well if you haven't seen it. And this is what made me want to do the video in the first place where we were talking about the concept of what is real. We talked about this a little bit um, in episode nine on The Black Americans as well. This concept of what's real. Like people think that to be real, means a certain type of thing and you hear all the time oh i love you know this artist or this person because oh they're so real they're so real they're so real we talked about this a little bit when it came to tiffany haddish as well so there's just this question of like what's real what do people really mean when they say that you like i'm going to use tiffany haddish just as an example right now you like tiffany haddish because you say she's so real what does that mean you like her because she talked with like that ghetto ass accent you like her because she's like constantly rolling her neck and snapping her fingers and talk about mm, yes uh, girl groupon like what does that mean exactly when you say that what are the ideas that you already have in your head and, and some of the stereotypes that you're already perpetuating about things being quote unquote real about things being quote unquote like a lot of that shit is like related to all these ideas that we have about like oh people being real means they from the streets or it means that they're that they act a certain way they dress a certain way they talk a certain way they like certain type of things like people could be fucking real and they could be from the streets and they could be fucking nerds they like they they can still that's still possible like they could be real they could be from the streets they can and they can they can not necessarily fit into what you already have in your mind because like so much of this shit is like tied up and these like racist ideas that we have about um about black american culture and like what it is and again so much of that stuff is like tied to these like stereotypes that are really deeply rooted in in the system of racism white supremacy here in this country and these like really pervasive stereotypes that have been following us around since slavery that if a person behaves in a certain type of way they automatically get this fucking you know mantle bestowed upon them that they're so real and that people like that you know it's like a really interesting thing like i saw this argument online where somebody was like well cardi's more real than you for what she did and and the per it was like two i was just observing <laughs> and somebody was like cardi was more real than you for what she did robbing niggas and somebody was like i'm from the streets like i was born and raised in the streets I didn't have to rob people to be fucking real or to be from the streets. Like, that's where I'm from. Like, I'm a fucking nerd. Like, I'm into fucking anime. I'm into Dragon Ball Z. I'm into this. I'm into that, which we've also talked about. How people have this idea that, like, black people aren't into, like, different types of things. And it, I'm just watching this argument unfold where I'm like, somebody is, like, telling somebody else that Cardi's more real because she robbed somebody. Meanwhile, you have this person that's like, I'm from the streets. Like, I'm from the exact same place that she is. Just because I didn't resort to robbing somebody doesn't make me less real. And I feel like this is a fucking, a dichotomy, I guess. Like, an argument that I see play out all the time that, that the pendulum just, like, swings back and forth. You have people that's like, oh, you trying to say that a person's not real, or that a person's not this, that a person's not that, because they're not engaging in, like, fucking certain types of activities. But then when someone engages in those activities, it's like, oh, now they have their fucking, their real card, their black card, their black pass, because they engage in these activities that you associate with, quote-unquote, being real, that you associate with, quote-unquote, being ghetto, that you associate with being, quote-unquote, street, that you associate with blackness. 
which nine times out of 10 is just like attributed to these stereotypes. And then when you come across black people and especially black Americans, descendants of American child slavery that don't fit into that box, you say they're, they're not real or something. Like to me, being real is just being yourself, whoever you are, whoever your most authentic self is, that's real. That's the real you. It doesn't mean acting in any type of way. It doesn't mean doing any type of thing. It doesn't mean watching any type of show. It doesn't mean listening to any type of music. It just means like you liking what you like, you being who you are, you being your most authentic self at all times is what is real to me. When we talked about insecure and I said, I feel like it's not, it's not real to me. It's not authentic. And people were like, oh, you're just saying that because they don't act ghetto and this and that. And I was like, it's not about motherfucking acting ghetto or acting grimy or acting any type of way. It just doesn't seem to me like they're being their real selves. I feel like, I mean, obviously it's, it's, fiction it's not motherfucking autobiography but you know like it feels to me like they're putting on a, a caricature of, of what they think that you know black american culture is and like how certain certain black americans would act like it's it doesn't feel authentic to me it doesn't feel real and that's not because it's not ghetto this that and the third it just doesn't seem real we have all these really confusing ideas about what does it mean to be real like what does that shit mean right I just want to say when you ask yourself like what's real like real again doesn't have to mean it doesn't have to mean ghetto it doesn't have to mean struggle it doesn't have to mean being a grimy ass bitch all the fucking time like people don't have an understanding of what it is to be real like and and I guess like to be authentic and like authenticity is like cool like people think that being cool means like some ratchet shit there like Oh, you trying to say they're not cool? They're not rational enough for you? Like, no, niggas just don't be themselves. Or again, like, people are themselves, but like the person that they are motherfucking sucks. And people be like, well, they're so real. Like, no, like, I mean, like, ratchet shit can be cool. Like, gully shit is cool. Like, but that's not the only way to be cool. Like, being yourself is fucking cool, right? And stop associating like these certain behaviors with like quote unquote being real, because the shit is fucking weird. So I actually have some comments that I had like saved from my Tiffany Haddish video at the beginning of the year um, that I'm going to read you guys real because we were talking in that video about like people, somebody was like, what does real even mean? People say they love Tiffany Haddish because she's so real. And somebody has said on Beef Bake, uh, real means they're not talented, but we like them anyway. So we were like sort of spitballing around that. Somebody was like, um, Real does not mean ghetto. Somebody else was like, what does quote unquote real even mean? This brand of blackface is out of control. Everyone is performing what they think being real is. It's not authentic. And it's definitely a common sentiment. For example, I've literally heard Armenians align themselves with blackness because they went through a genocide. They think that makes them real. Like what? And that again, we talked about a little bit with the whole idea the concept of political blackness as well like oh I went through struggle so that makes me black and it makes me real and it makes me that and it's like no it doesn't like the most realest person that you know might not be from the streets and the most fakest person that you know might be from the streets none of those things are like prerequisites to like be real you can be real without being ghetto eye roll and vice versa people are out here handing like it's also people that's motherfucking ratchet as fuck that's grimy as fuck that's from the streets, that's not real. And like, that's how I feel about um, Cardi, for example. Like, I feel like her behavior, like her being like the grand master that she is, is not real as fuck. Like, I, like, I would not be around her because I would be like, I can't be around this bitch. Like, she's the type of bitch that like, you take her over your house and you go to sleep and you wake up and like literally everything in your house is gone. That is not real. That's like some bullshit and you don't want to have those type of people like that's the type of person that you don't want to have them come over your house because you know they have sticky fingers and they're gonna walk away with shit you don't want to have them come over your mom's house or your sister's house or your cousin's house or your friend's house you'd be like don't let them come over your house like because you know they're gonna walk away with shit you don't want to go out with them because you know they're gonna be starting shit in the club because all they know how to do is start shit you don't, don't let them um know where you keep your stuff because that stuff's gonna walk away don't lend them money that type of person is not real. Just because she's from the streets, that type of person is not real. You could be real without being ghetto and vice versa. People are out here handing real cards, quote unquote, and black cards to folks just because they think they're ghetto. And it's just like, and shit is annoying now. That was like the last comment. Like, again, people really need to reassess what the fuck is their sense of reality? Like, what is their sense of realness? What is their sense of authenticity? What do they think it means to be cool? And just like figure out how to be themselves 
And also understand that like some people being themselves and all that ratchet shit and da 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 is not cool and it's not real. And again, you have people that's also motherfucking uh, nerds, quote unquote, that's like cool as fuck because they're being themselves, they're dope, they have dope personalities, they're awesome people that you want to be around. None of this shit is so fixed. People like to talk about stuff like it's mad fixed when like, again, all these ideas about identity are constantly moving and fluctuating and changing. And we have these stereotypical notions on what it means to be real, what it means to be black, what it means to be ghetto from the streets, a nerd, this, that, instead of being like, well, who's just being themselves? Like who's being a cool, dope ass person because they're a cool, dope ass person? Who is a sucky person because they're a fucking sucky person? That I think is what like people need to start thinking about like, what is real? Like, what's real and who is in your life and who are you idolizing in in terms of like culture and especially like black american culture like what the fuck like we really also again legacy and stuff like that need to be more discerning with what we fucking allow in our culture and support because it's a lot of like shit that's like riding the coattails of like real and like authenticity and like rawness and like streets and like this and that that's like not us What's real? Ask yourself. Food for thought as always. See you guys next time. Peace. Follow up video.